Hello and welcome to Driver 3. This is one of the games I've been thinking of playing on the channel just to play. <laughs> um, back on the PS2, I used to play this for hours and hours and hours. So I figured I would uh, play it here. So I'm actually... going to start a new one because the first thing I feel like doing is um, okay well I gotta restart the game so I'll be right back Actually, I should just be able to keep talking. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is show the location of all the um, the hidden cars. Just for something to do because it's pretty much exploring and whatnot. And I can't think of a better way to show off a game. And I need to... Fix my mouse because it should not be off the screen. Do, do, do. Um, tools, do, do, do. edit, modify. Here, just so you can see what I'm doing once it loads. Come on. Okay, anyways, I'm using uh, DXWND to run it in a window, but I need to keep the mouse within the window, and it doesn't want to. There we go. I'll just uh, go like that again. Options, to settings, sound, music, way down. All the way up. Um, primary, okay. Display. 9 performance this might screw it up I should probably cut this out but whatever come on using this with PC controls sucks where is my 1680 there we go Hi, on, 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 on. Try linear. Okay, okay. Controls. Do, do, do. Off. Controller. Miscellaneous. Uh, I think I left those the same. Forwards. Forwards, back, left, right. Uh, left, right, up, down. Oh, that's camera, oops. Um, up, down. Vehicle, uh, oops, left, right. Left, right, back, forward. The annoying thing about this is it's reversed. <laughs> For me, at least. Um, up, down, accelerate. Can't change that. Handbrake, 
Reapers. Get out. Horn. Throw cam. Left. Right. Back. Forward. And then leave the crane the way it is. Character. Uh, back. Forwards. Left. Right. In. Left. Right. Up. Down. John Holster. Shoot is that one. Up and toggle. I'll put to bad. That's still 10. Two. So that does set it. Okay. Jump. That one. Crouch. To that. So I can set this to two. Yes. Before when I'd try it, that's B or circle. Whenever I'd try to set it, it would back out and not save it. So. Okay, okay, okay. Even though I just mapped everything, I'm going to just use my control. I mean, my keyboard. I think. Because, uh. Driving. I mean. Using a camera walking around is a pain. It's really slow. So, use my favorite car. I'm going to start at Guy's house. And there we go. Actually, for driving, I'm going to use my controller. So, and this is the Guy's house. It's a really nice house. Um. There's a guy behind this house that'll try to kill you. There's ten in each map. Or each city, there's three. And my mic isn't... ...deactivated, whatever. Okay, so the first car I'm going to get is basically a Ford GT. I don't know what this would be. But you go from the house, go left, go left onto the bridge, and then on this little island you go right. And at the end there's a house. And in the house, you've got your GT. And see what I mean about the camera being super slow with the analog stick? And it's got this stupid acceleration on it. With the mouse, it's like nice and quick. So that's where to get this car. Now, the second car is basically an AC Cobra. And I can't entirely remember how to get that one. It's around here somewhere. Uh, over here. So, I will slowly make my way that way. Other than making sure this game still works, or making sure it works in general, because I'm playing on my computer. Um, oh, I forgot to change the, uh, display thing. There we go. Um, I haven't really explored this in forever. Years. Yeah, I need to slow down because of the cops. But I can still somehow remember the map. Or all three of them. But unlike GTA in this, even if you're speeding, the cops will come after you. Um, one nice thing, in the top left, the second bar, or the middle one, is your felony rating. If you're in a car, and you're speeding or hit a person or something, your car will get the felony before you do. Unless the cops get really close and see you. And you can see the little line. As long as it doesn't pass that, you can get out of the car, and you won't be wanted anymore, unless you get in the same type of car. Which is really weird. 
So, to make sure I'm going the right way. Um, yes. Third right. The sound even changes when you go around the car. For being in from 2004, this game is really well done. And the damage on vehicles is like the best for when it came out. Unlike GTA, where you get rear ended and your front bumper falls off, if you get hit or hit something in this, it actually works properly. Okay, so we'll show where I am really quick. Right here. So we'll go through here. And then through here. Basically you want to be beside the canal. And you drive all the way up along it. And then right up there, in a little, like, alley or something, would be the Cobra. Right there. So really quick, I'll show the damage. Only the front got wrecked. And if I hit something harder, on the corner, just that corner will get wrecked. I thought there was something there, or I didn't realize it would break. Ah, oh, crap. Swim faster! Is there a ladder? I believe... Yes, okay. You can only get out of the water with a ladder, and if you're in the water for too long, you will die. There we go. So yeah, um, when you blow, when a tire gets blown out on your vehicle, it actually, uh, excuse me, it blows out the tire and doesn't make the wheel all floppy. And then, if you wreck your vehicle en enough in a certain way, your wheels will actually fall off. So here's the Cobra. And then the next is a go-kart. I think there's only three in each city. Uh, how do I get back to the road? The little red uh, cross thingy in the mini-map is for... It marks out a safe house. So that's the little Havana one. And we are going up here. So just... Uh, don't spin. The very top of the map. And one nice thing about this game is if you're about to hit a pedestrian, if you honk before you hit them, it reduces the felony that you get for it. But... PC version has some texture issues, as you can see. That's really the only issues. The controller support sucks, and it's got messed up textures. But as far as I can remember, the draw distance is the same. Pretty much everything's the same, really, other than that. Behind one of those houses is a little hidden room, or bunker. So when you get to the top of the map, you get to this hotel thingy. You want to come up the right side. Go 
right, and then go over here. And this will bring you to a tunnel. In my opinion, this is the biggest secret in the game. And it's also one of the hardest to get to. So I'll park there. Make sure my gun's out. And we have to run up there. Yeah, my animations and stuff in this suck, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here I need to be careful because there's a guy that's going to shoot me. <clears throat> and he is really hard to kill. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> so yeah, if you get 10 of them, you get the um a mode where in this city, there's transport trucks. Put the gun away. I don't remember what button it is. Whatever. Um, oh. Okay then. Anyways, it's a mode where you get two of those guys in a transport truck, and there can be multiple of them for some reason. And, uh, they just chase you and try and kill you. And then in Nice, the same thing, but it's every pedestrian just tries to kill you. And I don't know what happens in, uh, Istanbul. So you come down here, and then you got a go-kart track. And you go up to it, and you have it unlocked. And then there's one person that goes around the track. Um, now, when you go to choose a vehicle in the menu from the beginning, why are the tires shiny? Anyways, when you go to choose a vehicle, you can choose the hidden ones once you find them. So I'm just going to do a quick, yeah, there's a major lack of animations. Well, I'm just going to do a quick lap. If you kind of stop and then go, it'll bring up a timer. And you can just go around the track and try and set the best times you can. And the handling is actually really good in this game too. It's not a bad game, in any way. Like, once you look past some of the textures and whatnot... <laughs> the shadows and stuff are better than GTA. I'll give it that. It looks a bit more realistic than GTA. The lights work better. It looks better at night, <laughs> in the rain. It just doesn't have that open world dynamic to it. And I spun him. Oh, I forgot to map the button to change the camera. And there's that hotel. So that is roughly uh, one minute, well, one minute forty-seven seconds. And then when you're done with this, you just head back out. 
or run into a fence. <laughs> there we go. You just leave and then you can go back to the city and do whatever. But I am going to uh, end this video here. I don't know how regularly I'll upload about this game. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave a comment. Tell me if you liked it or didn't like it, and if you'd like to see something else, and whatnot. <laughs>